Scooter, this is unacceptable. Ah, how could I let those penguins escape on me watch? Oh, I mean the prices at the museum snack bar, but yeah, that's bad too. I mean, they're flightless. Hello, what's this? Wow, a piece of paper. No, a clue. Gesundheit. It's a checklist. 20 raw fish, one very large battery, a thousand pounds of ice. Hmm, sounds like a shopping list. Three penguin-sized jumpsuits, one fear dar, and a mustache comb. Wait, a fear dar? A mustache comb! Ooh, this must have belonged to the penguins. Any progress at the museum? It's a science museum, Alfred. It's all progress. No, I mean any clues. Oh, we've got a lead, but we don't know where it's leading. We've also got really expensive nachos. Well, keep us posted and hurry. We're getting Junior suited up as we speak. Really? That's easier than walking into the next room? You walk it 20 times a day and tell me it's not exhausting. He's ready. The idea, Junior, is to select the one of my many super prototype outfits that works for you specifically. Specifically? You know, it should just feel right. And keep you safe. And not explode. What? You'll know it when you wear it. Let's begin with prototype 11-B. You got it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, my own super suit! Ooh, shiny. What's going on? Uh -oh. ah! What was that? That was a big no for Magnet Boy. You okay, Junior? We can take a break if you need. I I'll be fine. I can do this, as long as I end up with a super suit. All right, Escape, uh, let's try a few more. looks great on you, Junior. I feel so brave. Nothing can touch me now. Ah, uh, no bouncing in the cave. You might break something. Sorry. Excited. One caveat. I need to waterproof this suit before you go on a mission. The bouncing mechanism is electrical. So? So if you got wet, it would stop working. No problem. I've been out of pull-ups for years. That's the league signal. Downtown Bumbleberg is under attack! The two-year super vehicle! We'll meet you there! Shouldn't have had those nachos. Look! Up in the sky! It's a plane! It's a spacecraft! It's breakfast? Stand back, citizens! Show yourself, or are you chicken? Ah, uh, looks like it's at least from a chicken. Oh, goody. We've got our first volunteer. Name, Officer Scooter. Biggest fear, the dark. 
Come on! I'm not afraid of you! I've had appetizers bigger than you! Ah! Who turned out the lights? Ah! I'm afraid of the dark! When do I get a super vehicle? Let's take this one step at a time, shall we? <gasps> what is that? Oh, my! Up on fear and ready. Yes. Oh, that's cold. <gasps> Welcome, League of Incredible Vegetables. It is I, Dr. Flurry. Dr. Flurry. That guy gives me a brain freeze. And I'm about to freeze all of Bumbleyburg. This. Here. Unless, of course, you find a way to stop me. Stop this, Dr. Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> then think this through. <laughs> We're coming for you, Larry Boy. Escape away. League of Incredible Vegetables, engage. Whoa. So brave. That's not eggshell. Ah! I can also get you out of anything. Nice catch, Vogue. Wow, it smells terrific in here. It's cinnamon potpourri. My supercar smells like socks. Take over. Take over what? <gasps> the wheel! Goodness, she's so decisive. Name, Thingamabob. Biggest fear, monkeys. <laughs> What? He should be more afraid than that. That's not enough fear to freeze anything. <laughs> Monkeys? Really? They're so unpredictable. Alfred, how does that thing work? I can't find anything. It's a top secret villainous device. Uh, oh, wait. He talks about it on his blog. Then, after figuring out what you are afraid of, the fear dar uses that fear as energy to fuel its freeze ray. Kids, don't try this at home. Goodness me. That thing is fueled by fear. You can't scare me. Hey, Vogue. Biggest fear, bad hair. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, it's just hair. Easy for you to say. Hey! What is the point of having my own fear dot if my nemesis won't be frozen in fear? It's a waste. He can't catch the league. Those are some amazing super suits. A letty boy, circle around and distract him while Escape tries to find a way in. Name, Larry Boy. Biggest fear, balloons popping. Seriously? Well, here goes. I may have found a way inside, Larry Boy. I'm on my way because I Damn, that! He, 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 he. What's the matter, Larry boy? That's his birthday party. Lots of popping. I know you're scared, but you've got to move. I know. I know. Come on, Larry boy. Move. You can do it, buddy. Time to move. Oh, <laughs> 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 They're unstoppable! Oh, 
Unbelievable! Unfreezable! And seriously? Doesn't anybody believe in seat belts? He did it! He did! He didn't have to be afraid! Of course not! Because of his super suit! Because of his... what? Junior! Junior? Look! Up in the sky! It's a torpedo! No, it's an asparagus! What? Another one? Tiny heroes just falling from the sky now? Yahoo! is a keeper. Come on, Junior. Run! Escape! I'm too far away! I'm not... not Junior. Not on my... Larry Boy! Oh, my! Larry Boy, can you hear me? What? What? Where did he go? Holy evaporating egg! Lee, we've got to find Larry Boy! Back to the Larry Cave to regroup! <laughs> Now, if I were a mad scientist and I had a frozen Larry boy, where would I put him? Somewhere cold. A little more specific? Somewhere cold that could fit a giant egg. What's this? It's just a shopping list. I know what a shopping list is. I practically invented shopping lists. I mean, what's this? That's the logo for this little piggy grocery. But that place closed down years ago. Let's go. Wait. Has anyone seen Junior? When I said you were brave, I meant it. My mind hasn't changed. Larry Boy would still be here if it wasn't for me. You saw how afraid I was. Everyone gets afraid sometimes, Junior. Not the League. Yes, the League, too. The reason they didn't freeze up is because they know how to deal with their fear. I know, I know. You've got these amazing super suits. I trusted in mine, and I was still afraid. Junior, the League doesn't put their trust in their super suits. What? Super suits will fail them, but there's only one who never fails. One who is bigger than anything you fear. When he fought the giant Philistine Goliath, that scary armored brute, oh my, was tiny little David in any manner aided by a super suit? Uh, no. Correct! Goliath was much stronger, his biceps three times longer, but David never fussed. It wasn't his own power, he counted on that hour, so whom did David trust? I'm thinking you're gonna say God. Bingo! Trust in God. Not in my super suit. Nope. Trust, trust in God. God. Don't you fear the boot? Trust in God. Against the frozen fruit? Absolutely! Advice you can't dispute when fear is taking root. Within you're in cahoots when you trust 